Hi, this is Callan with the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. Today, let's do an activity about butterflies. Butterflies, like many animals, can use camouflage, where they try to not look like themselves by looking like something else, such as a plant or an animal. Here I'm crafting some butterflies and taking inspiration from two real ones. One is a giant blue morpho, which we do not have in Texas. Here you can see both sides and how it looks differently on each side. And I'm also inspired by the monarch, which we do see in Dallas. Butterfly wings do have scales. If you zoom in on these scales with a microscope, you can see they are incredibly complex. They may also have colored pigment, like the orange scales of a monarch, or may interact with light in a way that looks like color, such as in the blue scales of the blue morpho, where they just look blue. Here you can see my monarch, which stands out from the background. Monarchs contain toxins, and these could be poisonous to something that might want to eat them. The colors of a monarch are actually to warn these potential predators. On the other hand, you can see this blue morpho. The brown side doesn't really blend into the sky, but the blue side does. You might be able to see how it's a little confusing to potential predators like birds. Butterflies do typically close their wings when they land, and that's why sometimes they'll look different on each side. Here on the brown side of my blue morpho, I did try to add some eye spots, which you can also imagine might confuse or intimidate animals. I know it's hard to tell. Uh, this is not a butterfly I made. It's a real one, and it's called a red admiral. And it is using its tongue-like proboscis to drink from this plant. You could also see that those colors are similar to the colors of my monarch. This is another technique called mimicry, where an animal might mimic or try to look like another animal that has toxins, even though itself doesn't have them. You can see I'm trying out my butterflies with different things to see how they might camouflage. You don't have to go outside to do this. You could make a butterfly and test it out in your own home. Another thing that could be fun is different animals see parts of the infrared spectrum we can't see. So that might be fun to imitate if you have anything that glows in the dark. If you do create your butterflies, please let us know. Thanks for joining us today.